hello everyone today we are going to build a user friendly feature for angular forms a toggleable show hide password input this feature enhances user experience by allowing users to view their password as they type it let's dive into the step by step process so first step is create a new angular project so for that you can just start typing this command in your cli ng new project name and after hitting enter it will create a new project once it is created you can go into that folder and open it in the vs code or any other editor you may prefer once your project is installed and running in your browser and open in your editor then open the root directory of the terminal in your project and install the dependencies we need bootstrap for styling and font awesome for icons so let's do that run the command npm install bootstrap font awesome okay it has been installed uh, by the way in the angular.json i al i also have this i have uh, included the bootstrap.main.css file in the styles and in the scripts in this way so if this was not included for you then you can manually add it add these files and then things will work properly for your case next uh, we'll create a new component to hold our form so for that type this command and you generate c for component sample form and in that form i will add my basic html nav and i will give some classes to it navbar navbar dash light bg primary mb4 okay and then i will add an a tag within that nav tag and here i will add oh by the way this should be in the app component and here i will add the sample form component that we just created but before that we have to import that component in our app component so for that i will add sample form component in the import sorry and after that is done i will simply add app sample form now if you reload the page then you will see this now use angular's reactive forms for that i will have to import the reactive forms module in the sample form component import array now here i will now in the ts file i will add a property registration form and the type will be form group and make it optional after that let's create a constructor and in that constructor i will inject the form builder service from angular all right and within that i will call a function uh, this dot init registration form and now i will define that function and now i will use this dot registration form is equal to this dot fp dot group okay after calling that function we will pass an object that will have all of the fields that we want to have in our form name email password and confirm password so in the name we will add validator dot required and validator so for the email we will need two validators validator dot required and validators dot email in the password i will just have validators dot required and similarly for the confirm password as well next is the fun part where we will be adding show hide toggle so for that we need to update the password field first we need to complete our html page add div class form group and within that i will add a label password so this is just for a password but i will be adding the complete html here i will add class form control also we need to add the form control name and the name should be exactly same that we have in our form group after that i will add a div input group append and within that i will add a span input group text and i will add a click event on that toggle field text type we'll call, create that function shortly before that let me add the icon class f a n g class and here i will use an object and within that object i will pass some classes based on conditions first i will pass f a dash i slash and i will use this class if field text type now we also have to make this type dynamic based on that variable that we will define shortly so here i'm 
saying that if this is defined if this is true then use now let's go back to the component file and i will define a property field text type boolean and here i will add a function toggle field text type and i will revert the value of field text type now let's give it a try it is currently working but uh, the icons are not working so let me quickly search from the bootstrap so i need to search i icon so in order to use this icon we have to install this library as well so let's do that we have to import it as well so i copied that go to the styles.scss that is global file within that you you may use this live url as well or you can use the node modules folder where we have installed it already so we need to use bootstrap icons all right now you can see that icon is visible we need to move this icon within the span now uh, let me add a width to this form so i will go to the parent here i will add style width 400 pixels and display block and margin auto okay so this is just for the password you can change it and add other fields as well so let us add other fields quickly and complete this form so i will add another form group and in that i will add options for email like this and let us add all other form groups as well we need to have for the name as well we need a confirm password field as well and finally we need to wrap it another div or form and we should add a form group here all right now everything is working perfectly fine so you can see that we can add email password and if you turn it on you will be able to see the passwords a simple yet effective show hide password feature in an angular form this enhances user experience by allowing them to confirm their password input visually feel free to customize the styling and functionality as per your project need the combination of angular's reactive forms ng class for dynamic css and some handy third-party libraries like bootstrap and font awesome makes this feature both elegant and straightforward to implement I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.